Howdy y'all. Active Ass Salon Roids here with an apology video. That's Active Ass Salon Roids. Kryptonite for conservatives. My last, my last couple of videos have been a real stinker. And in one of them, which I which I took down, I I I falsely accused one of my longtime subscribers of being something he wasn't. I made a video without actually doing any real research on the very person I was making accusations about, and uh, so I'm I'm here to apologize specifically to Ryan Wiley. Uh, yeah, I actually made a video thinking he was a progressive Christian when uh, I, I actually when I without even taking the time to go back and check, and only it's only to find out after I made the video that he that he's an atheist like me. So, and I you know I accused him of a lot of of, of a few things and uh, I and I I'm here to say that I'm sorry. See, I'm not a right winger. You want proof enough? I apologize. I admit when I make mistakes. But, yeah, I've bled a few subscribers over the past couple of videos because of, because of a few, well, because of one bogus, very bogus stance that I've taken, and, and, you know, because of the accusations I threw around, and because of, uh, <coughs> and because of my hard line stance against a certain, a certain group of so-called progressives, of so-called liberals, And one of those, however, I'm not going to detract, you know, I'm not going to retract my statement about. I do believe that if you're part of the, of the, 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 the uh, camp of, of progressives that believes that, that, that staying home on election day is somehow putting, you know, is somehow sticking it to the man I you know I believe that 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 it's real that that you really have no place calling yourself a liberal if you do that because again half of democracy is about showing up and uh, if if MN draw wants to go into the whole George Carlin camp and just give up on the system and and unsubscribe that's that's his business but but again when somebody does that when somebody deliberately tries to to rationalize you know go through the rounds of trying to justify the act of being a non-participant knowing damn well that the GOP wants you to stay home on election day knowing damn well that the right wing's entire strategy is predicated on making sure that voter turnout on our side is as low as possible. <clears throat> yeah, the lighting in this video is bad. I know, like, I can't, let me see. Okay, there we go. Probably should have worn a different color shirt. But, no, I just, a third party can't work. It really can't. Especially when the only viable third party, the, the existing third party, happens to be one that sells itself out for, for ballot access to the GOP during midterms, okay? And and a Tea Party uh, uh, for the left won't work because hey, we're liberals, you know? We're we're socialists. We're we're progressives. 
Occupy Wall Street didn't go anywhere, and the coffee party thing didn't on Facebook didn't go anywhere. And the reason it didn't go anywhere is because, yeah, we're, we're progressives. What can I say? It's just, it, it, there's an old saying that people hurting liberals is like hurting cats. Well, actually, the saying is hurting Democrats is like hurting cats. But you get where I'm coming from. It's just, we're so adverse to, we're so adverse to hierarchy and to structure that, that when 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 that that it's one of those things where where for better or for worse we're just so independent minded and there's just i just don't really believe that 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 those kinds of the same kind of methods used on the right can really work for us I have to apologize again to to my to my subscribers about you know especially to Ryan Wiley because Ryan Wiley you know he's he's been with the the subscriber base for a long time and he's he's you know <laughs> he was part of the Path for Progress group you know from the very beginning and all that and you know I'm not I'm not affiliated myself with the Path for Progress group I had the opportunity to be but I left the uh, their Facebook group a, a, a long time ago because I just couldn't find the time to do anything because of, you know I had a job and all that and, uh, and being in the South you know I'm have because I'm in production I have to work like you know I can I'll sometimes work sixty hours a week so I don't really have time to be involved in much of anything but and but I still wish their group the best of luck. But as part of the loyal opposition on the, you know, as part of the loyal left of center and, you know, as part of the true left opposition, there are still some issues where I will respectfully disagree. Yeah, that's that's as much of a concession as you'll get out of me right there. Respectfully disagree. That's right. From the video I took down, which was more of a "fuck you, I'm not this or that," to I respectfully disagree. You know, <laughs> big change of tone here. Okay. But again, uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, I. I can be something of a huckster and something of a firebrand. I just, there are just some issues that I feel very strongly about, and a couple of these issues are issues that, that at least half the left is for and half the left is against, and, uh, you know, we find ourselves on opposite sides of the board, and and I, when I think that another group or another person is wholly wrong-headed in their approach to something, like M like uh, M M N draw. You know, I can't help but think that had I never brought up the conversation at all on the issue of on the issue of the false equivalency thing and how uh, on how a good chunk of people on the left actually throw that around as a justification for not showing up at the polls. Had I never made that video of admonishment following the the last midterm. I can't help but think that maybe I would have still had that guy on board here and all that, but deep down I still believe that 
it's something that I had to say because the proof is in the pudding. I mean, it's out there. Fucking Paul Weyrich, the founding father of the conservative movement himself, the man who helped co-found the American Legislative Exchange Council and the Heritage Foundation with the Cokes, I might add, actually, in his Goo Goo government speech that he made back in 1976 to a religious rights seminar in Dallas, Texas, he laid out that the only way Republicans could win is when voter turnout is down. And this is why I just... This is why I just have very little respect for for that approach I mean it it just uh, you can you can take all the liberal stances you want but but at the end of the day democracy is about showing up actions actions bring us results justifications bring us nothing We won big in 2006, a midterm election, because we had higher voter turnout then. We lost badly in 2010 because we had lower turnout. We lost horrifically in 2014 because we had even lower turnout. And let me let me let me backpedal a bit and go to. Uh, you know, change directions, you know, let me change subjects a bit. I mean, I've kicked this dead horse with another dead horse, and I'm pretty much doing what I've accused, what what I've accused Sam Sater and, and the Young Turks of doing over the Sam Harris thing. <coughs> over the whole Ben Affleck, Sam, Sam Harris thing uh, before. So, uh... Let me, let me just say that that uh, I, you know I, I just it, it, it feels it really does feel to me that that outspoken atheists on some level are being you know, gone after you know they, they you know it just seems like a, a good chunk of our of our movement of the progressive movement are going after outspoken atheists after the new atheists and all that and you know a new atheist is pretty much just an atheist with an opinion he's just an atheist who's who's who actively promotes atheism who actively fights religion and this is why I'll stand with Bill Maher and why I will stand with with certain people like Richard Dawkins and and the late Christopher Hitchens because we need, you know we need outspoken atheists we need people who are who are out there in the fucking trenches fighting with all their might against every kind of religious fundamentalism, including Islam, not just not just the domestic religion here in the United States, not just just evangelical Protestant dominionism and and Catholic, you know, the the corruption within the Catholic Church going going back many centuries, but also religious fundamentalism within 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 the Muslim community. And within the Jewish community, nobody can be nobody can be let off the hook on this. I mean, you know, religion. If we didn't have religion, or or even certain theologies within religions, many of the problems that we have with misogyny and and blaming the victim in society and rape apologetics. These the the, the <laughs> we wouldn't have as many problems. It, it wouldn't get rid of all the problems, but it would certainly deal with a good number of them. 
and it would certainly remove many of the justifications that are being used to perpetuate this anti-woman attitude throughout throughout the Western world and th you know throughout the Middle East and, and so forth you know it's th this 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 just I, I guess I guess I'll end, I'll end this video on this note again uh, Ryan Wiley I'm sorry you know but sometimes you know the thing is I believe that Thunderfoot makes a very good point as long as Thunderfoot sticks to talking about creationism. But the second he starts talking about, about Anita Sarkeesian, someone that I'll be, I'll admit, I don't have much respect for Anita Sarkeesian because I see her as a snake oil salesman, as the Jack Kemp of our day. But when Thunderfoot starts talking about about feminists and about about gender politics and everything you know he he tends to bring his own bag of bullshit into the conversation you know thunderfoot in my opinion is living proof of someone who is good at compartmentalizing his logic in areas where he is right he is fucking all, he is spot on but on areas where he is wrong he drags a clown car of lunacy and dumb dumbassitude into the into the mix. I mean, giving you know, giving the American Enterprise Institute lip service, a right wing neocon think tank, giving them a lip service and claiming that they're nonpartisan, that they're that they're non-ideological, you know, that, the, to, to me, that right there smacks of just pure, just, you know, just completely disingenuous in that. And that, that's, that's my, that's my thing about, about Thunderfoot. That's my beef with Thunderfoot. He's either hot or cold. You know, he's just, you know, I give him, I give him props when he speaks out against religious fundamentalism within the Islamic world and, and within the, within the, the, the creationist, you know, community and all that, the, the anti-modernity, anti-science crowd. I, I give him mad props when he does that, but the second he goes into talking about gender issues as if he has nothing better to do and kicking a dead horse with another dead horse with another dead horse, you know, that's where me and Thunderfoot have problems. Now, I'll also, I'm also going to say that, that I like, I like Thunderfoot's work in, in, in going after and taking Stephen Malinu and his cult to task. You know, he, he does a good, you know, he, he, it, it you know, I, I think I think Thunderfoot might be confused on this issue more than than anything else. You know, I I mean, on the one hand, he's 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 bringing the clown car of 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 rape apologists and other guys. He's trying to give them. He gives these people some air of legitimacy. Uh, or well, no, I can't even say that. He gives a certain kind of 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 asshole an air of legitimacy a certain kind of asshole behavior an air of legitimacy while simultaneously speaking out against the very one of the very uh, one of the very promoters of this of this very assholeish behavior that he that he himself is bringing into the into the mainstream you know that he himself is helping uh, come into the the uh, just you know so you know when I when I think of when I think of Thunderfoot I just think somebody who's all over the place and as long as he sticks to his issues you know he's he seems like you know he he's a very 
you know, spot on guy, but as soon as he gets off on this other stuff, he just sounds like he's just, he just, he's just carrying water for the undesirable assholes of the world. And so, I mean, what can I say? I, I do agree with Thunderfoot on a lot of things, but Again, there's one that, you know, there, there, are, there are several places where Thunderfoot goes that I will not tread, <laughs> simply because common sense tells me to do otherwise. But there are places where Sink Wager and Sam Sater will tread that I will not go, because common sense tells me otherwise. They may be prominent liberal voices, but again, I don't agree with their brand of pluralism, their idea of pluralism, compared to, say, my, 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 my specific notion of pluralism. I don't like the idea of putting my head in the sand over religious fundamentalists. Well, religious fundamentalists who are... Who are other than other than the religious right, you know, I'm just not going to do it. But I know this 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 thing is relaxing and everything, but I'm tired as hell, and I just I don't know. You know, I just there are certain things, you know, I. And and I I will defend Bill Mars, Bill Maher and Sam Harris to the death over some over some issues. I will. All right. You know. Because I I, I do believe that Oslin just uses certain grains of truth to sell a greater lie and. And I think, you know, in a sense, I guess we're all guilty of that in some way, but I don't know. It's, I guess maybe I should stick to my comfort zone, just bashing libertarians and, and uh, right-wing militia patriot nuts and gun nuts and, and, and bashing the religious right. Maybe I should just stick to my comfort zone because... For whatever reason, I always seem to do to you know to be so much more spot on when I'm talking about neo Confederates and the damage they do by worming their way into the mainstream, by worming their way into the culture. And well, I guess this is a good place to end this video. And so to 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 Ryan Wiley and all of my subscribers, the only thing I can do is give a you know I, I guess you know I, I I'm I'm just I'm sorry I really am. I'm, I'm this is my this is the this is the 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 best heartfelt apology I can possibly give. I guess there's a reason why they say people from Coosa County, if something happens to them, they'll just make more of them. So, you know, maybe I got a touch of that same Southern bullshit too, and I just, I just don't want to admit it. Well. Peace out, everybody, and uh, I, I guess until next time, uh, you know, stay sharp, stay strong, and uh, goodwill hunting, people. <laughs>